Hi, I'm Evan, and welcome to Exploring Design in the Dunstan Design Studio. Today we're looking at the Cataract family of chairs. So it all started with the Tamar, which was designed in real time when I was teaching at the University of Tasmania in Launceston. I was designing it at the same pace as the students to show them what pace of work and decision making looks like, and also how to write a brief for a chair. Later on, when that design evolved into the later Cataract version, they got named after Cataract Gorge, which is at the headwaters of the Tamar River. To explain this family of chairs, we need to start with the original Tamar. The brief was to design a contemporary chair for an apartment living with a view out over the ocean, so there had to be more air than chair. I was trying to reduce the amount of materials in it, and I was trying to make very contemporary clean lines with what we call mid-back support ergonomic logic. So mid-back support simply means that unlike lumbar support, we're supporting the back just above the lumbar but below the shoulder blades. And it's just putting that movement into the spine to create a natural hip rotation which is more comfortable and promotes active sitting than a static design. The ergonomic wave seat means that as you sit there, the pelvis is rotated, the back supported, and with a timber seat that's flat across this way, you sit in a more active manner. We'll demonstrate that in a minute. So about a year after we introduced the Tamar, we got a commission for a chair to be used as a desk chair. And what I wanted was a chair that, again, went one step further with that active sitting and promoted that natural movement which makes a chair comfortable. The answer was to have a very shallow rock. Now, when I say rocking chairs, people think of little old ladies with knitting. This is not a rocking chair in the normal sense of the word. This is a chair that responds to changes in posture. Before going down the rocking chair path, I decided to try out more traditional lumbar support, back support, with a sculptural element here. Anyway, the cataract rocker means that as you sit on it, it simply responds to changes in your body language. As I move over the chair, the chair is following me around if I was sitting typing, I'd be sitting like this. If I'm kicking back talking to mates, I'll be sitting like this. The chair is simply an invitation to sit that responds to my body language. So the cataract was designed as a desk chair, but it's found its real purpose as a dining chair. People pull back from the table, they sit very informally, they use the table more like a living room space, and it's just a wonderful way of spending the evening. This is the cataract version that doesn't rock. So you can see there's no rockers on it. It's simply a traditional chair, four legs, just what you would expect. And I love this chair, but it's different to the rocker and quite profoundly so. What we do find is some people get concerned about having a whole dining suite of rocking chairs. They worry that, you know, Aunt Thelma, who has a bit of vertigo, might not like the rocker. So we simply put two non-rockers at the head of the table and we put rockers down the side and that way everybody finds a place that they're happy with. So as you've seen, there's a lot of variation within the Tamar Cataract family of chairs. Rocking, non-rocking, vertical back slats, horizontal back support. There's even an upholstered version which we didn't look at. However, send me your brief. Explain what you're trying to achieve. Tell me which timbers work for you. We'll come up with a solution. We ship Australia-wide. We also ship internationally. 